forget motivation. This is what really drives results. Hey there, my name is Isai Rodriguez, and I'm here to light a fire under you. And this is Home Business Hustle, where we build your leadership skills and your home business profits one actionable tip at a time. So hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's get started. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about um, something that could really change the game for you in your home business, your direct selling journey. And it's about um, being a character driven person versus an emotion driven person, right? Now let's talk about this. Let's let's be real for a second here. We all have like, I don't know about you, we all have these days where, you know, our feelings take over, right? Well, all, all like we all have days where, uh, you know, you wake up and you just don't feel like doing anything. Am I right? But here's the thing. Successful people are willing to do things that unsuccessful people aren't, right? And one of those things is relying on their character instead of their emotions. So what does this mean to be character driven, right? Well, you can think about it this way. Character driven people are the ones who do the right thing first, and then they'll feel good about what it is that they did later, right? They're not waiting around for motivation to strike them. They're out there making things happen, right? These people are commitment driven. They they stick to their promises like glue, right? When they make a decision, it's based on solid principles, not just what's popular at the moment, right? Can you imagine how powerful that is or could potentially be in your business, right? Here's something interesting is that these people let their actions control their attitudes, not the other way around. Instead of waiting to feel inspired, they just get started, right? You know that saying, believe it, then you'll see it, right? That's them. That's like they create their own momentum rather than waiting for it to magically appear, uh, you know, in their uh, business, in their life, in their, um, you know, whatever. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting is that when these people are faced with challenges, character-driven people ask themselves this one question. They ask themselves, what what are my responsibilities here? That's it. As in, they don't shy away from problems, right? In fact, they do the opposite. They keep pushing through them. Like they, they seek the problem out and they, they, uh, they want to analyze it, they want to figure, uh, figure it out, and they want to get right through that so they can get on to the next step that they, you know, in their journey, right? They, they're, they're steady, they're, you know, reliable leaders who essentially uh, inspire others through their actions, right? That's a character-driven person, someone who makes decisions and takes actions based on what their character dictates them to do. Now... On the flip side of things, we have the emotion-driven people, right? So let's talk about those emotion-driven people for a moment. Uh, like you might recognize some of the of these traits, uh, maybe in yourself or others around you. But emotion-driven people, they tend to feel good first and then think about doing the right thing based on feeling good right they they think about that it's an afterthought if you will they often look at uh you know they 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 look for convenience over commitment right when making decisions they 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 lean towards what's popular rather than what aligns with their values right and if their mood isn't right well <laughs> that can really dictate their actions it generally does it usually uh, weighs a lot more on those uh, the sh- decisions that they make sometimes leading uh, into inaction sometimes, right? And you know what I find fascinating is that emotion-driven people, they often wait for momentum to come to them instead of creating it themselves, right? They, they might ask questions like, what are, what are my rights, right? Instead of focusing on responsibilities, and when problems come their way, they can pre- they can be pretty quiet or even like give up altogether. So how do we shift from being emotion driven to character driven, right? Well, 
One of my favorite examples comes from um, a guy called uh, Louis D. Armour. Uh, I'm sorry, Louis L. Armour, right? He's a legendary author who sold over, I think it's 230 million books worldwide. That's like unheard of, right? When he was asked about his writing process, you know what he said? He said, he goes, it, it was simple, yet super, super deep, if you ask me. He said, start writing no matter what. The water doesn't flow until the faucet is turned on. <laughs> oh, wow. That I mean, if you think about that, that's a powerful lesson in and of itself right there, right? It reminds us that action is key. So here's a little challenge for you. Think about one area in your business where... You know, you've been letting your emotions take charge, right? Just one. What What if you approach that one area with a principle-based uh, mindset rather than, you know, um, the other way around? Imagine asking yourself, what are my responsibilities here? What should I be doing, right? And then take action when, when it feels tough. Right, because it's gonna you when when you find out what it is that you have to do, it's generally something that's outside of your comfort zone, right? That's that's how you build character. It might not always be easy for sure. It's not gonna be, you know, it might not always be what's comfortable. It, it may be way out of your comfort zone, but trust me, it'll pay off in the long run. You see, success isn't just about feeling good all the time, right? Success is about doing what needs to be done even when it's hard, when it's outside of your comfort zone, when you don't want to do it, when you don't have the energy, when you don't feel like it. All them emotions, all them thoughts that they come to your head, that's when you have to take action. That's what um, success is all about, right? So I've got to ask you, are you ready to be a character, be, uh, character-driven character a badass, like a, a, a entrepreneur who's out there making decisions based on your character rather than your emotion. Listen, I believe that you can. I know that you can, you know, because listen, everything that you need to be, uh, you know, to be a, a, a winner, to be a victor, to be a champion, to be legendary, everything's already inside you. You just need to figure that out. You just need to take action, right? So there you have it, my friends. That's my tip for today. If you found this episode helpful, inspiring, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell. And if you have any questions or any topics that you'd like to talk about, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Also, don't forget to follow the link in the description for my uh, for access to my free masterclass training where I show you how me and my team are putting together, you know, putting these tips into action in order to build a successful home business and how you can do the same thing. All right. Till the next time, stay legendary, my friends. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Take care now. Bye.